This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with uh, partly cloudy skies here early this evening. And as you can see, temperatures are going to swing down into the 30s overnight. We're going to see a warmer, windy weekend. Then a winter storm is likely to kick off next week. We're talking about heavy snow and strong winds. Yes, that is correct. You're not misreading. Uh, the worst weather appears to be coming Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday, 68 beautiful degrees after a morning low of 23. We had uh, 500 of an inch of moisture in the rain gauge. We're short now for the month, still about four tenths above normal for the year, but not going to hurt to get some more moisture out there. And unfortunately, it's going to come in the form of snow. Well, uh, today, another uh, below normal day. So that's where we're going to wrap up the month of uh, March, as you could see, a very much cooler than normal March and uh, drier than normal. We did have several days with some precip, and we've got more coming next week. Take a look at this. We're looking at uh, Sunday night and then especially Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday, uh, near 100% chances of seeing some moisture. And unfortunately, a lot of that is going to be in the form of snow. Overlay the winds on top of it Monday, Tuesday. We've got windy conditions coming with that snow as well. That is going to lead to a significant winter storm here across the region. Lots to look at here on our current temperature map. You can see the colder air that is filtered back into our region. That is thanks to uh, a bunch of uh, factors that's come through, most notably a cold front. But there is an outbreak of severe weather ongoing across this portion of the country where we're seeing a lot of active weather. That's out in front of the system. And uh, meanwhile, in the Dakotas, that area looking at blizzard conditions in many locations. Very active weather here with this storm system, a dynamic one. 20s off to the north uh, from Valentine into South Dakota. We've got uh, 50s from McCook down into Kansas, 67 around Topeka. Closer to home, we're all over the place. 26 in Gordon and Valentine, 46 in Pine Bluffs, 36 up in Guernsey. It's uh, 38 right now in North Platte. Winds are strong, and they have been all day. Northwest winds right now. 25 to 35 gusts over 50. We've had gusts over 60 at times today. It is very windy out there, and we do have wind chills that have plummeted into the teens uh, in many locations, 20s and 30s elsewhere. And any of that remnant snow is going to quickly move out of here, and we're going to have windy conditions early this evening. Winds are going to subside a little bit. Still going to be breezy tomorrow but not nearly as windy as what we had today. And uh, it's going to be much, much warmer tomorrow and uh, even uh, pretty nice conditions for Sunday, although we're going to start to see some more winds in here. And we're going to give you an extended future cast here in a moment, uh, but we'll get you through Sunday morning with the dry conditions here across the region. Overnight lows tonight, teens, 20s for the most part, highs tomorrow, 50s and 60s, so much nicer out there. And as far as precip goes here, the next, uh, oh, let's call it, uh, you know, 36 hours or so, not going to be very much at all, just a couple of hundreds at best, except in the high country. Now, as we take a look at a longer range future forecast, you can see where we are this evening. That snow pushes off to the east of us. We zoom in here closer to the area as we get into Sunday, and this is where we want to start paying attention to things. This is Sunday morning. Now, as we go through the day Sunday into Sunday afternoon and evening, that's when we start to see rain and snow showers break out across our area into Monday morning. That rain turns over to snow as we go into Monday afternoon and Tuesday. And then Monday night uh, and into Tuesday morning, we've got bands of moderate to heavy snow across the western half of Nebraska. Then the system pulls up and away from us to the north and east as we go into Wednesday. Both of our long-range forecast models indicating heavy snows across the region uh, right in uh, the middle of the panhandle and north, uh, basically a Cheyenne to Valentine line with the European model. Very similar Cheyenne to a Valentine line with a lot of gradient there, but some areas our forecast models are picking up a foot or more of snow. So we'll keep a very close eye on that, and we'll have more details for you throughout the weekend. Windy this evening, 28 for a low tomorrow. Going to be breezy at times, winds at 15 to 25 with higher gusts possible, but generally speaking, not bad out there, 63. And our seven-day forecast, windy rain and snow showers develop late 
on Sunday. Rain and snow turns to heavy snow Monday night into Tuesday. Windy conditions as well. Look at highs Tuesday only in the 20s, and we'll still rebound uh, maybe to the 40s by the time we get to the end of the week.